Haley, and Haley is joining us today also. Haley is one of my eighth grade students at Crenshaw, yeah, and she is going to be discussing our eighth grade fist bump. Uh, she is going to be discussing also, although we're giggling, a very serious topic, um, something that has been on the lips of many students at Crenshaw, especially since the death of one of our students at um, our high school. Um, I've been bullied a lot, so like, whenever somebody like makes fun of you at home, like, because like, you know, a lot of people don't really have like, like, you know, like, people don't really have a good home life, and then you go to school to get away from it, and, like, they tease you about it. Like, that's mostly how it's been most of my life, and, like, it really does lead you to depression, because I've been, like, depressed the past two years, because I would go to school to get away from the stuff I had going on at home, and people at school would be all like, oh, well, look at that, look at what she's wearing today, what she wearing yesterday, you know? What did you do? I mean, like, how did you try and cope with the comments? Well, I very started like burning myself, to, you know, trying to like relieve the pain. And if that didn't work, I was like cutting. And eventually when I moved away, I would try to kill myself. Because I would come to school and you know, I was so embarrassed that like I was doing the stuff to me that I really don't want to tell anybody that I was close to. Like my best friend, my best friend since I was two, I would go around her and like act shady, you know. Like I would talk behind her back because I didn't want her to find out. I wanted her to hate me, so she didn't find out. Now, do you think that there's something that that could have been done before you got to that point? Do you think there's something? I don't know. Like you, you, we already talked about the fact that you didn't feel like you had anyone at school that you could go talk yeah. to about it. I mean, that's a big thing. If you don't have an outlet, and we heard somebody else say that that they didn't feel like they could go talk to anybody because if they talked to them, then they would tell somebody else and yeah. then it would get all over the place and be all spread and be something even bigger than what it was and you'd be ridiculed more. Yeah. Um, is there, like, I know you said that since that incident with, and this was your uncle, mm -hmm. correct, um, that since your, your uncle died that you stopped. Oh. That doesn't mean, does that mean that the bullying has stopped or does it mean that you have stopped going, you know what, I don't care what people think about my home life, um, I'm about me. I mean, has some, what has changed? Has that, has that stopped or have you changed? Well, I guess asked me, she's all like, she'll point at him, she's like, did that hurt? And I'm like, no, you don't want to live with that. You don't want to grow up and have your kids ask, oh, how did this happen? You want to be like a great example for everybody. And has the, have the people at school stopped making the comments about your home life? There's a couple of them. They're like, oh, well, they may find my scars or like my hair and stuff because both look at my hair. But <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome! We, we like your hair because you're unique. Yeah. <laughs> we like uniqueness. Cool. Yeah, I decided that like, I even told a bunch of people, um, I was like, you seen the things that I've done to me. I'm not scared of doing me, so nobody was like that. What? I don't think that that's a good idea to solve no it. So, but you stood up for them. Yeah. So, but you stood up to them. Yeah. And once, so you're saying that once you realized that, that the people that's around bad. you were not near as important as you are for yourself and like your family members and stuff like that, when you stopped caring about what other people thought, is that you, you and, and with the death of your uncle is when you kind of came full circle with, I don't care what they think. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, I can do this. And then you were able to stand up to them. I started living for myself, you know, like, I didn't really care. Like, well, everybody just saw me at the mall today. I was like running around oh. being goofy. And I didn't really get to do that when I was little because of my home life. So now I'm doing it now and it feels really good. Like, just for what I didn't like is that this was going on and on and on and on where people were making fun of your home life. And the fact that you didn't have certain clothes or this or that or whatever. And it didn't sound like anybody stood up for you. Uh, like I had a couple of people say, like, well, you need to stop cutting, you know. But then they would go to that stand and they're like, well, I went to her house and I saw all this. You know? I just really think that if you're going to be a friend, and then somebody who stops stuff and they're like, okay, this is wrong, let's do something about it. Not somebody who's going to be like, okay, this is wrong, let's go talk about it. 